within the month, there was the three of us. Mm -hmm. And I was assigned to uh, Lieutenant Colonel Archer. And my job was going to be, what I like to say, pushing a slide rule for a colonel. But the reality of it was, we started to understand what we were. We were the Office of Special Weapons Development. And what that really meant was nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. And so all the atomic weapons development, it turned out that in January of 57, now this is April, mm -hmm. uh, in January of 57, Eisenhower had made a decision that we were, he was going to revamp the military's uh, organizations, particularly about how they dealt with atomic weapons and nuclear. And he, I, when he, in his grand reorganizational plan, called CONRAC, was, was the uh, group in the military. He took that group and that would, it, if, uh, I'm trying to think who the three-star general who was the first head of it, I can't remember his name, but uh, General Wyman became our supervisor out of Fort Belvoir, Virginia, and I went to work for General William Overbeck. Now, General William Overbeck was the youngest general in the U.S. Army. He was a Ph.D. nuclear physicist, and Colonel Beer, who was our deputy director, he and Colonel Beer graduated one and three at the point uh, in, I don't know when they graduated, I, I should, probably should know, but it's, e it's either 39 or 40, something like that. Uh, pretty much that. And General Overbeck, as, as I learned later in life, was uh, at Schofield Barracks on uh, Pearl Harbor Day. 